Hello and welcome everyone. This is Shashank Tyagi from Edukemi. I hope this message finds you fit and fine. Today I'm going to introduce you with this unit Justice, which is in paper 1, section A. Justice can be considered as the foundational topic of your political science option. And why I'm saying that? Due to the application of justice. Okay, you're going to use your learnings in every other concept. So this is going to be our lecture flow. First, I'm going to talk about the weightage of justice as a unit in overall marking scheme. Then I'm going to share questions which have been asked in past six years. Then I'm going to share what are the broad themes which you should keep in mind while preparing this particular topic because questions are asked from these themes. Okay, when things are structured in your mind, na, ki, okay, in this particular justice topic, I have to cover these themes and from these themes, I can attempt these questions. So it eases your process of learning. Then I'm going to take one particular segment of this particular topic and have a discussion over that. Okay. So this is the trend. Look at this unit three justice. In 2018, 15 marker, 19, 15 marker, in 2020, 20 marker question was asked. Take a look on these questions. In 2014, 20 marker question. And the question was, explicate the conception of justice in the critics of communitarian theory means keyword was communitarian theory then in 2015 difference principle in role theory keyword means key theme roles then role theory then role theory then type of justice then communitarian perspective then comparison between roles and greek perspective of justice so considering the kind of questions which have been asked can we concur on this idea that these are the broad themes? Means first, you should cover what are the type of justice. Although you are going to talk about what is the basic idea of justice, why justice is important, then what are the type of justice? Okay. For example, question have been asked on distributive justice. Question can be asked on procedural and substantive justice. Then role theory of justice is like the most important pillar of this unit. And within this role theory, we also talk about critiques on role theory. But I have said that this is a separate theme. I've categorized it as a separate theme. What is the reason behind that? Because I want that you should not learn these criticisms as some comments which are done on roles. These are separate perspectives in themselves. And questions can be asked on these. For example, I've shared questions asked on communitarian perspective. Okay, so you should consider that these are broad themes within raw theories criticism that we are going to cover. Okay, then let's discuss communitarianism. First of all, what about this word communitarianism? Don't you think that this word came from community? Right? Now, before I tell you why this word came, you should, you should question that what is the application of this concept justice in our political system and most nearby in our life? Because any concept, any type of justice which I'm going to discuss in this particular unit, although in this video I'm going to talk about community in perspective, but each conception of justice is connected to our daily life. If you think that this is just a unit, so I must say, Bhul Mehaap. Why I'm saying that? The kind of education facilities you are having is part of justice. As your income increases, there's progressive taxation in India. Right? Rich has to give more tax. Means tax rate increases. Right? This is in within the line of justice. What is considered right? What is considered wrong? The base idea is justice. So you can say that in every sphere of your life means kind of rights you have, kind of duties you have, kind of social relations, social entitlements you have, all of these are connected to the base 
idea of justice in which we believe as of now. Communitarian is just one aspect of that. And why communitarian? What is communitarian? Let's discuss. Communitarian perspective developed as a criticism of liberal perspective, majorly. It was a reaction against liberalism. When I say reaction against liberal, liberalism, all of you who have read liberalism know that liberalism talks about individualistic nature of man, man as atom. You can simply say that liberalism here focuses on what is good for an individual. An individual should have right to do, to acquire whatever is good for that person, that individual. But communitarianism says that this is totally wrong. What these libertarians are saying. They are talking about justice on the level of individual. But if every one of us started, start believing in that I am going to do that what is good for me and this is based on this is the basis of building the whole concept of justice don't you think it would cost social welfare yes it is going to cost social welfare because you are thinking about yourself not as a society so from this debate the concept of communitarianism emerged Communitarian think that community is natural. Community is not like some people came together and they formed the community. Community is essential aspect of our existence. We cannot live without community. Whatever we believe to be true is based on our community. Man is closely related to the community. So, communitarians say that whatever liberalism was teaching, autonomy of the self, at the level of self, not at the level of community, it is, it is going to have negative consequence. And that is why communitarianism as a perspective developed. Let me share you an example of one book. The writer Robert D. Putman, so his name of his book was Bowling Alone. So, most of you know this game right bowling so the central idea is when we talk about justice it is not bowling alone you cannot just think about yourself and everyone thinking about themselves and and then we are feeling that yes ultimately we are going to develop into a progressive society no if everyone think about themselves then there will be a decline in social capital in this book, Robert D. Putman you know, put beautifully that like every industry requires capital, right? If you want to develop, if you want to establish a factory, okay, say factory of a mobile phone, okay, then you have to do what? You need to have certain capital. These many crores you need to build the structure, the machine, the labor, the technology, yes? So here the capital is money, right? Similarly, if we talk about society or, you know, let's talk about this community, let's talk about this nation, India, we need social capital. And when I say social capital, social capital is built on the kind of interaction, kind of conducive beliefs that a society inculcate. Let me share you one example. In history, you will find several nations which, has, which have faced, you know, great disasters, man-made disasters, natural disasters. And eventually, in a short span of time, they turned into developed nations. Do you think it was just due to some money technology? No. There's a great role of social capital. Means you have to ensure that social systems work properly. 
if social systems are not working properly then we cannot have then we cannot realize the true potential of our society or you can say our nation here so it means we need to invest our time and energy in social and political sphere also when i say invest time it means we need to look into what are the social beliefs in which people are living if we need to modernize certain beliefs then we should think over that we should take required actions if we have certain social beliefs which are very good very beneficial then we need to inculcate them we need to you know make efforts so that people embrace more of that from their culture similarly political sphere people should be connected with the politics when i say politics their responsibilities for example in this book robert de putman gave example of belgium he says that belgium saw rapid decline in voting turnouts people not what people not were coming to the voting what does this resemble it resembles that the population educated educated but they are not having belief in the political system they are not having you know that kind of connection that this is their responsibility as well as their privilege they are not having this kind of connection in the community and that is why they were not coming and due to this belgium was bound to bring the concept of compulsory voting vote karna hi hai right so voting is not just about that you are electing your rulers voting shows that yes you are aware that the system works with your will collective will it shows what kind of power is with the with the people so that is the point which this book was making means you need to think about how can a community develop how can interactions develop how can the potential can be utilized in a better manner possible how social cop capital can be enhanced people working in community now take a look on what is the major definition of communitarianism from this discussion it is very much clear that communitarianism focuses on responsibility of the individual to the community and the social importance of the community as a whole that is why that is what we have discussed until now in other words we can say people are individual members of community with shared values ideals and goals so individual ideas of the good cannot be separated from the community as a whole means whatever we think is good for us it should align with the values of the community objectives of the community goals of the community and that is when a com- that is the situation when a community prospers so when we when it comes to question about what is right what is wrong what what is right policy what is right action it should always be raised for the betterment of community as a whole this is the key one of the key principle of communitarianism whenever we decide about a policy it should be based on the idea that community as a whole we should think of so these are the key community in ideas let's discuss one by one these are this is quite simple connected to your daily life so community didn't say that liberal concept of atomistic man is abstract individual means when liberals say that man exist as an individual that is why there are some entitlements some rights which are exclusive for an individual ye community didn't say kya baat kar rahe ho ye this is abstract individual abstract means actual mein aisa koi nahi hota ye khali pula hai this is abstract because if you talk about any human <clears throat> whatever that human is saying even the language that human that that human is talking or using that is based on community in which you know he was belonging or she is belonging to the kind of belief which you have just look at yourself the goals you have do you think that you have made this goal of your life from your own will 
don't you think there are some impressions from community that helped you to decide yes this is my goal now i'm going to go ahead so you did not took this decision individually there's a role of community if something wrong was going on in your community then you find okay this is wrong i am going to get to the par and get things right so community has a role to decide what you feel good what you feel bad even the limitations kind of limitations you have i can do this much i can do that much this happened with me all of this this come from community so if you talk about self so communitarians say, say we have embedded self embedded self means our self is embedded in community means our values are inculcated inculcated from our experience from our surroundings man is never independent of his community one way or other there are some impacts it may be possible that you were born and you were brought up in one particular community and then you moved to you know some other in other part of world and became part of another community even if you move to one island living alone then also you because at some point you were part of some community so there will be some impact on your decision making on the memories so that is why man is never independent of his community right and now don't give me example of mogli ki sir mogli was born uh, as a human but he was that the story says that he was brought up among the animals in a jungle would be then can we say that mogli is an exception no mogli is not in that story mogli is not an exception because mogli was also having community there were many characters bears and wolves and everyone now community is traditions values are part of individual personality i think from this much discussion this is clear right so community can say that that we never look to the reality with naked eyes we always wear glasses of community whatever we believe whatever we see whatever when i say opinion perspectives these are given by community right in your younger days you you heard that your mother was saying something about some aspect of a person ki if uh, she is not good she is not she did that and at that point you got that in your mind imprinted okay if someone is doing that means that person is bad right so this what how this is coming this is coming from community chashma lagaya hua hai his conception of right and wrong his conception of good all is based on community self is not prior to end that is what communitarians say self is not prior to end prior to good ultimate objective is good for the community self is constituted by the good whatever is good for the community what is whatever is the common good then on that basis our self is constituted that is what decides ki ha ye karna chahiye this, this this decides determine our existence when it comes to community communitarian has this interesting view they say that libertarians undermine community they believe that community is not more than aggregate of individual i told you but communitarians say that libertarians negate the conception of common good from for them common good is nothing more than some of individual goods although communitarians suggest that organic view of community is necessary when i say organic view of the community it, it means that whenever you're deciding that this is good for the community you should take a wholesome perspective it should not be like that that some individuals were saying that they although some individuals were saying that and he, libertarians believe that individual i mean we have to discuss about rights at the level of individual we have to discuss about the good at the level of individual and if we are aggregating 
the goods by these individuals, then we can say, yeah, this is good for community. No. It may be possible that survey of individual which you did does not represent the common good. So common good can be seen when you look at the whole picture from above, not from the individual opinions. I hope it is clear. Then when it comes to views on rights, liberally, according to libertarians, they say that, yes, we can agree on a universalist conception of justice. It means there is a universal concept of justice. This can be applicable anywhere. And every community of the world, all they need is to act rationally. If they use logic, they can come to this conception of justice, which is universal in nature. This is what libertarians believe. This was what one at one time Rawls were believing. Rawls was believing, although in later part of his life, Rawls also changed some of his ideas on the justice in his book, Political Liberalism. Now, the point is, communitarians support community-specific rights and cultural relativist perspective of rights. Let me share, let me share in detail what is the meaning of this time. Don't you think that if you move to some tribal area in Andaman and Nicobar, and share with them what is the definition of success to you. And if you have learned the, their language and they have some words which determine success, means the conception of success, they also know. But what is the conception of success? Do you think that, that would be the same? No. If you compare the conception of justice or success, with the conception of success and justice, you know, uh, with some tribe which is living in, say, Amazon forest, do you think they would concur with your idea of success? You will say, I am an IAS officer and I am leading a district of so many crore people and I am handling the budget of around, say, 35,000 crore. So I am a successful person. I am about you. So it may be possible that tribesmen will say, okay. I am not aware about your world. I am not aware about what IES is, what this amount is, what this amount can do. Because my life is different. I am living in this jungle. I am having a community for which I take care. We have some necessities which jungle provides us and we as a community have certain actions, certain responsibilities and we take care of that. If you feel that you are above us, then sorry, you have a faulty conception because you may be successful in your, your context, but our context of success, peace, tranquility, prosperity is different. Similarly, with the conception of justice, if you're a district magistrate, you have read the doctrines of justice which are going on in India and you try to teach those conception of justice to the Amazon forest tribes, what they're going to do? They're going to say, just live with us for one month. Or hum kare is way zero. So, and then they will teach you. This is the idea of justice which we believe in. And you can find the difference. So can you, at that point, can you say that, that no, since I am from a prosper community, I, prosper in the sense I'm having more money, I'm having more cars, I'm having this you know, power to influence things. So that is why, my conception of justice is superior. Can you say that? If you say that, now communitarians will tell you, Baba, wrong here. Why? Because you should look cultural relativist perspective. What is cultural relativist perspective? Because cultural relativists say, you cannot compare something, some culture is above, some culture is below, because their culture is different. Their conception is different. And their conception is yielding value for their community. That is why you cannot say that their conception is below your conception of justice. That is cultural relativistic. For their culture, that is relatively good. For your culture, that is relatively working for you. And jada apne apne justice ko upar thairaya, so they are not going to let you go. Mehman bana lenge aapko kafi lambe samay tak mahi ke liye. Right? So that is communitarian perspective on rights. 
when it comes to communitarian view on state very simple liberals say that political and personalists are separate for example when it comes to religion for example culture this is a personal sphere when it comes to state political sphere then it should have uniformity like universal citizenship for example uniform civil code upsc has asked question in uniform civil code one law for everyone uniform set of rights for everyone and i hope many of you are proponents of this theory means many of you believe that there should be one law there should be one set of rights there should be no differentiation whatsoever if someone is citizen of india then same kind of rights same kind of law should be applicable right that is your belief but communitarians say that hamari bhi sundo zara they say that when individual come in public sphere you belong to a particular religion you have set of beliefs and you come to public sphere it is not that you leave your identity back home that when i am coming out of home when i am in, i am into office when i am into public sphere when i am having some responsibility i am i am having no identity whatsoever my identity was left at home my religion everything was left at home it may sound ideal to some people sound good to some people but that's not reality all of you know that if i come if i ask you what do you observe around people are more close to identity of religion to their identity of religion or more close to their identity as a citizen as per constitution as per our laws what do you think which identity is more closer to them and i'm talking about reality plain truth i'm not talking about ki bol vachan karo badi badi baat hai plain truth and you will find plain truth is people are more closer to their identity as religion what identity of their religion is because in their life cycle at every other instance they find that religion has to do something with them some puja some namaz something but when it comes to law although that is connected to our life and you know impacting our life but people are not that much conscious to that identity so communitarians say that we have to take care of both identities you cannot separate the two so if some people are having some religious beliefs you cannot say we are sidelining them let's bring uniformity you have to take care of those beliefs also otherwise there will be conflict okay that is what what happened in france when they were banning burqa why they were banning burqa they were saying okay this is your religion keep it in personal sphere not public sphere in public sphere there is uniformity don't you think uniformity can be counterproductive at some stances that is what communitarians were saying okay i hope this has helped you a bit getting clarity on this topic justice we have covered weightage question marks main theme what is community reason and key idea of community theek hai so in my next video i'm going to talk more on community reason but that time i'm going to talk about some prominent scholars for example michael walzers michael sanders and how you can use their standard views when examiner is asking critique on rawls theory of justice and to be precise communitarian critique okay so if you are liking the whole series the idea is to introduce the topics the approach then please share in comments and share the video to your peers if you find that they are going to get some benefit from it and do share in comments what more you think can be done to sharpen your approach in political science optional as a one step as a one initiative i know that some of you struggle with psr vocabulary some key phrases which can increase the legitimacy of your answer so in short span of time many of you are not back from background of political science option and political science option does not require you but the point is in short span of time your answer should reflect the legitimacy the articulation should be you know that that gives you score so i have started one initiative psr scoop 
one page crisp document of 150 to 180 words supplemented with one question. Just take a look on this page, take the scoop like an ice cream scoop. Okay, so this, this is available in Telegram group. You can just tap on the link which is below description, which is in description below. Okay, see you next time. Till then, take care, keep learning, keep growing. Shashank Tyagi signing off.